Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make an airplane fly. There are three basic things that you need to make an airplane fly. Okay. Um, so first thing is to know where your center of mass, your center of thrust, and your center of lift are at all times. Okay. So the first thing, like I said, is those three items. As you see, whenever I start building this, I'm gonna make it super awkward looking. It's gonna be probably the most awkward plane I've ever built. Okay, here we go. Pay attention to the center of mass that I'm working with right now. It's gonna be super awkward looking. Okay, bring these in. I'm just going to go ahead and rotate. I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add a nose cone. So the plane's super off center, right? Super weird looking. Like it shouldn't be able to fly. I'm gonna go one step even worse. Um, we're gonna go ahead and build one wing here. Make it this wing. There we go. That style. There we go. I'm going to go even further. I'll push the boundaries of this. Um, I need a fuel tank. Smaller fuel tank. There it is. One, two. And then let's just go ahead and Rotate this in the position back here. Make it super awkward. Yeah. So it looks super weird what I'm doing right now to this airplane. That much I do know. Um, and I understand that you don't quite get what's going on yet because I'm not finished building it yet. However, as I continue to build it, you will start to realize something about the aircraft itself. And that is that no matter where I build or how I build the aircraft, when you look at it, all I'm trying to do is pull the center of lift behind the center of gravity and have the center of thrust behind the center of lift or in line with the lift I should say so in saying that actually you just go ahead and get rid of this piece altogether it doesn't even need to exist so like I said you want the center of lift behind the center of gravity, almost centralized behind the center, uh, center of gravity. Then on top of that, I'm gonna go in here and add a, um, little, just a little one of this part, right? Where is it? There it is. Just a little tiny one. Just to make the center of lift right there where it needs to be. All right. Almost there. I'm 
Let's put it way out here. Let's go ahead and move this sucker over. Perfect. So the center of lift is directly behind the center of gravity. Super weird looking, I know. And then, like I said, as long as the center of thrust is behind it as well, it will be just fine. Okay, just give me one second. Do, 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 do. It's probably right about there. This one's gonna need to be right about there. And you can just keep building this plane, however, it's just gonna look silly, kinda stupid. Um, as long as you keep those three main principles in line, like I said, center of thrust, center of mass, center of gravity, in line, doesn't matter what it looks like, so long as it is there. Boom. So now, if I'm not mistaken, my center of thrust should be in line. I might be mistaken though, because that tends to happen. Just the Juno engine, where are you? Juno engine. Boom. So if you look at it, it's all perfectly in line. Now what I'm going to do is go in here and empty this fuel tank out. I'm going to go in here and empty this fuel tank out. I'm going to go in here and empty this fuel tank out. Now this one should, yeah. So as that one empties, let me see where the center of gravity is. Empty that one and then empty this one. So this one's the best one to leave open. The rest of these are just going to be off. And then let's just go ahead and move the center of lift back a little bit. Because it needs to be behind the center of gravity and in line with the center of thrust. Which it is. So cool. There's that. And um, now everything is set up. All I have to do is put some wheels on it just put some tiny wheels on it come on work with me here game I know you don't like me right now I'm trying to give you an aneurysm but come on there we go there's one two and then just for the sake of it being the sake of it I'm gonna make it a tail dragger actually you know what I don't like tail draggers I'm just gonna make it regular old plane there we go You back. Uh, let's bring you up to. No, let's bring you down to. Let's bring you down to. And back one. A few. There we go. When you come in here. Go ahead and bring this back. So it, like I said, it doesn't matter how your plane looks, as long as these three principles are applied. Center of gravity in front of center of lift, center of lift in front of center of thrust, or in line with center of thrust, and uh, ensure that it is perfectly in a straight line. Center of thrust really doesn't matter where center of thrust is as long as you don't go above center of lift with the center of thrust. Just as long as it's 
below the center of lift, it doesn't really matter. So, ugly plane? Yes, it is. I'm actually going to remove this nose cone and put an arrow kit on it. Just a little fan shroud instead, wherever it may be. There it is. Let's go ahead and just make this thing extra ugly. Here we go. If you don't believe me that this thing will fly, you should, because it will. All right, uh, all the principles are applied. They're all a straight line. They're all good to go. They're all in line with each other. Beautiful. So this, I'm gonna make it to roll only. This, I'm gonna make it pitch only. And this is gonna be yaw only. All right, and rename craft as jank craft. And uh, let's go ahead and launch it. This will work. It will fly. As long as, like I said, as long as everything's in line, it will fly. the main question I get asked on my streams and everything is how do you get airplanes to fly good well this is how so jankity jank 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 jankity jank 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 Boom. Would you just look at it? It slowly rotates to the right because the front nose cone is a little really jank. But other than that, it flies pretty good. Oh god. For those of you that didn't believe that this thing would fly, here's your proof. Now landing it is a whole nother story. But I'm gonna attempt it. Uh oh, bouncy. Try and give myself plenty of space to stop. Trying to land this jank mobile is even harder. There you go. Boom. The jank mobile landed. Look at that. That's how you build an airplane in Kerbal Space Program that flies.